All right. Hello. Oh. We have our TVC, our Twin Valley Coffee. We're doing a shopping day today. And of course, with every shopping day, we need coffee. We need coffee. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we need Twin Valley. I'm here with my best friend, Lauren. Hello, everybody. She asked me if I wanted to do a King of Prussia. King of Prussia. King of Prussia? Yeah. <laughs> what I'm King of Prussia. Weird. KOP. KOP yeah. shopping day. And um, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to head over there. We just got our coffee. And I thought I would take you with me, with us, as we shop. Starting off with Urban Outfitters. I already found a pair of shorts that I want to try on. They're only $20. I found this really cute, simple Adidas sweatshirt, which is very close to what I had wanted, um, but they didn't have my size, so I decided to put it back and um, hope that I could find something later on. We also went to Anthropology and Free People. Neither of us found anything there. We went to Altered State, and as you can see, I tried on so much here. I tried on this really cute sweater cardigan cropped top, and then I tried on these shorts in this light blue color, which I thought was so pretty, as well as a um, darker grayish color, um, and I really did think they were cute, but I wasn't 100% on them. And then was my very first time at a Lululemon store. I've never bought anything there online, so I was really excited to go in and try a bunch of stuff out. Um, I tried on some of their tanks. I tried on shorts. As you can see, I have a pair of biker shorts on, and I also tried on a pair of their Align leggings. I really wanted a um, hoodie, like an athletic hoodie. And I got this one. This is Adidas. I got it at, Sport, at Dick's Sporting Goods. And I just love it so much. It's just like so cozy and like thick, but it's cropped. So it comes to just like kind of where like where my sweater's at. And I love it a lot. So we searched everywhere for a small and we finally found one. I was thrilled to find the exact sweatshirt I saw at Urban, but in my size and a different color, which I ended up loving so much more than the gray one. Lauren's actually trying the purple one on right now. So we'll see if she likes that one. First time in a made well. You've been in one before though, right? Uh -huh. This is my 20,000 time. And this is my first time, but I've never bought anything. Hello. We're, we're being blinded. Yeah, we are being blinded right now. We are taking a pause from shopping to go to our next destination, but we finished at KOP. And now we're heading to, what is it? The Christiana? Mm -hmm. Christiana? Christiana Mall um, for Abercrombie. Delaware. Yes, we're going to Delaware. It's happening. <laughs> we're going to Delaware because that is the closest Abercrombie to either of us and because we're making this trip you have to spend all the money that you have left to make the trip worth it sure it is a little bit of a drive mm -hmm. but as long as I buy stuff there it'll be worth it mm -hmm. if I don't find anything I like then I'm going to find shoes or well, Starbucks at the least <laughs> it's a lot of Starbucks that is a lot of Starbucks but but we'll make the fine. trip worth it. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, we got some really good stuff, though. We did. I feel like we'll have to do, like, a little haul or something after. But we found some good things. We are in Abercrombie. It's finally our moment. The moment that I got blinded. We started the journey being blinded in here in my car. Yeah. And then it just got worse. It then. did. There was a lot of um, everywhere. We were going everywhere to get here, but look, we made it. We're at Abercrombie. It's a big moment to be here right now. I already got a pair of jeans I'm gonna try on. We're gonna try on a lot here. It's honestly, my first time being in an Abercrombie store since like high school, probably. I went into the Abercrombie and Fitch fitting room like a million times. I tried on so many jeans to find out like which ones I really liked. I also tried on this really cute sweater, knit, uh, tank. I just, I felt like it didn't fit me right. Um, but I, I did think the color was super cute. I also tried on this really cute kind of like waffly shirt, cropped, super cute, super soft, really liked that. They also had one in gray, so I tried that one on too. I also tried on these black shorts, thought they were cute, and honestly I was trying to remember if I had a pair of black shorts, but I decided against these. Okay, I am back home. It is the following day. I really wanted to do like a little haul at the end of the day with Lauren, both of us showing our stuff, but we we shopped until we dropped, pretty much. 
Um, we shopped so late last night. We went to King of Prussia, plus we went to the uh, Christiana Mall in Delaware, and um, we shopped until the mall closed. And honestly, if the mall wouldn't have closed at seven, we would have shopped even later. Um, but then it was a bit of a drive back to her place and then i'm an hour away from her so i got back like 10 o'clock last night <laughs> from from shopping but it was so fun i just like love shopping days um with your best friend it's just it's the best so i'm really glad that she suggested that we do that and i know that i want to do that again i'm just gonna have to wait to um financially recover from this one and um give some time so i can build up my budget for the next one but I did want to show what I got yesterday, and I am already starting out with one of my, actually, the jeans, too. This whole outfit is from what I got yesterday because I just needed to wear it right away because I'm just, like, I love it so much. But I'm really excited to, to show you what I got. Um, I'm pretty much going to go in order. That way I can kind of remember, like, what we all did and stuff. But um, so if you haven't been to King of Prussia... It's large. It's very, very large and overwhelming and just a lot of like big stores, a lot of stores that just like I feel like aren't around like Lancaster, which is where I'm at. Um, so it's really nice to to get to go to some of these that I just aren't that I'm not at regularly. We went into Urban Outfitters, Anthropology, Free People. All three of those were like all in the same corner. So that took up a good bit of time. Um, I think that Lauren got something at Urban, but I don't think she got anything at Anthropology or Free People. I tried on shorts that I found at Urban, and I just, one, they didn't fit right, and two, I didn't really just like the how they fit. Even if they would have fit me, I don't think I would have liked how they fit on me. So I skipped that. Um, and then our next spot that we went to, um, we passed Altered State, which I definitely gotten a few items at Altered State before. Their stuff's really cute. I feel like their store is like faith-based and um, they have like Bible verses on the bags. They have like devotional books, a lot of just like, I don't know, little moments of faith just integrated into their store. But like, I think it's like tastefully done. Um, and I tried, I actually tried on a lot at um, Altered State and I ended up buying one thing. I got this sweater. Um, this is like a cropped little like sweater cardigan from Altered State and it's white. I You'll see the themes this time around was like white cream, that like off white kind of color. I love, I love it so much. Um, but this is super cute and I actually, I tried on multiple dresses there yesterday. Decided not to go with any of the dresses, but um, there was one particularly, the blue one that I tried on that I thought was really, really cute and I really liked the look putting like this sweater over top of it especially for like if it's a little bit cooler and you don't want to wear like I think it was a short sleeve shirt or I mean a short sleeve dress um but I I that already is an idea that I have I have a lot of dresses that I have already and um when it's like cooler temperature I like to still wear my dresses so I often will put like a sweater on um, over top and like tuck it into like a sports bra so it's kind of a cropped look and this is like already cropped, so I know that I'll be able to do that. But I did try this on with the dress, and I just knew that like I knew this was gonna work for dresses that I already had. So I didn't buy the dress, but I did get this cardigan, and I really like it. So that was my item from Altered State. And then my next store that I remember that I went in, I forget what other ones we hit because we did go into a bunch. But um, this one I knew that I, I think I wanted to buy something was Lululemon. They do actually have a Lululemon store in Lancaster City, but I've just never been. Um, and I figured that this time at KOP would be the time. And I obviously have heard so many good things about Lululemon. I've heard a lot about their like Align leggings. And I just really wanted to try them on. And I wanted to see if I thought that they were worth the hype. And... Well, obviously, I think so because I bought some goodies in here, but um, I bought two things from Lululemon, and uh, the one I got, I should probably read it so I don't mess it up, um, I got the Align HR Pant 25 inch, um, and oh my gosh, 
they're so good. I am like so excited to wear these. Um, I, I love them already. Like, is it too soon to say that? Because I do. Um, I feel like they are so soft and like stretchy, but then also like, they're like thick in the perfect amount of thickness that you want because like you want them to be like sturdy enough um and not like too thin but then they're also just like not too thick that it's just like uncomfortable so they're just i feel like they're just perfect and i'm really excited about them so i just got a like black i was a little disappointed i feel like i was hoping that they would have had a, a larger color selection because i would have liked to get some other like well not multiples but i would have liked to maybe consider getting like just a a different color than black but in my size for this kind they really only had like black and then maybe a navy blue and um those i just don't i don't really tend to go to navy blue for leggings so that is what i decided to get um for my like long pair and then i did get a pair of biker shorts because your girl loves biker shorts i was like slow to the trend and now i'm obsessed and i love biker shorts so much um, so these are a line HR short six inches and I love these so much and I'm really excited. Honestly, I wish it was warm right now because I would be like wearing them right now, but, um, yeah, I'll save them. I'll probably wear them around the apartment and stuff and then I'll definitely wear them once it gets warmer. But I like love biker shorts too for just like oversized shirts or like, like t-shirts and stuff. Like I just feel like there's so much you can do with biker shorts. Um, I'll probably wear these too when I work out. And I just, I really like the length. I have multiple biker shorts from Aerie. And actually, I think all of my biker shorts are from Aerie. And I love those so much. Um, but the ones that I have from Aerie are also like a little bit longer. And they go a little bit farther down on my thigh. And I just like that these are a little bit shorter. I feel like I just have been wanting a pair that's just slightly shorter. And don't that doesn't go quite down as long. So that was my, um, my two purchases from Lululemon very excited about them um because i feel like i finally get to say that i have some lululemon goodies and then one of the other things that i was really hoping that i wanted to find yesterday i wanted to get like a i have this in mind you don't know those things that you're like i know what i want but i don't know what it looks like but when i see it i'll know that's exactly how i felt about um a sweatshirt i wanted just like a sweatshirt i kind of wanted it more cropped that like not super cropped, but that it would like just kind of line up perfectly with like high-waisted pants. Um, and I really just wanted it to be like a thick sweatshirt and not, I didn't really think I wanted a hoodie. I just, I don't know, I wanted something clean and just that's the vibe that I wanted. And I wasn't sure what I was looking for. And funny story, but actually when we were at Urban, which is the first store that we went into, they had a little like section of Adidas wear and they had a gray sweatshirt that was cropped and it was thick and it just like very in the center um, of your chest it just had the adidas logo embroidered and i thought it was super cute but they didn't have my size and i was like oh man this would have been like perfect but whatever i'll, I'll skip it um but i like remembered that i actually like took video of that because i thought it was really cute and i'd went i had gone back to it multiple times and then um we went to dick's sporting goods and i wanted to check out their adidas section and here lauren found like the same sweatshirt that i saw at urban um at dick sporting goods and the adidas section and even more than that they had three colors they had gray they had this purple color that lauren actually picked up and then they also had this just like cream colored sweatshirt of the same thing and i was like yes this is it this is like literally exactly it i liked this even more than i liked the gray one and it's just exactly like what i what i was like looking for i love so much the just like simple small embroidered adidas logo right in the middle i just feel like it's just so simple um i like the length of it it does not show my stomach but it's just like just a nice crop like right at like your waistband would be and I just feel like that's exactly what I what I wanted and I just feel like it's so cozy and so soft so I actually convinced Lauren to grab one she got one and this like really really pretty purple color I want to say it was like a lilac color but I don't know if that's the correct 
tone of it but she got a few items yesterday in this like really pretty purple color that i feel like is like really in this year um it must be a spring color that's coming out and i really like it so i'm really glad that she got that one so we're like twinsies for the adidas sweatshirt um we also went into aritzia which is my first time in there um i was like blown away by everything that was like for sure out of my budget <laughs> so i did not even like loosen my um like i put up a very strong wall when i was in aritzia to make sure i didn't pick up anything um and then we also went into zara which she got a sweater at zara which like we we're still so shocked about because the price was like 35 dollars, and when she rang it up it was like 7.99 so she still doesn't know how that happened i don't know how that happened but don't we love when that happens um so that was a really pretty like just i think it's like a cream or a white cardigan and it had like buttons coming up um, so that's what she got from there. I feel like I'm forgetting something else that she got there, but um, at the mall. But um, we also went into Madewell, which was my first time in a Madewell, and I was really excited to go in there. I have a couple, I have two Madewell items that I actually got at Fashion Sense Consignment Shop, and I love them. I got a pair of jeans there for like 10 bucks, and I got just like a white t shirt, um, like super cheap, and I love both of those items. So I was really excited to go into Madewell. And again, my, my wall was up because <laughs> their jeans were just much more than I knew like I wanted to, to spend yesterday. So I decided not to even like try anything on because I knew that I was just going to create a harder thing for me. Um, I knew that we were going to go to Abercrombie and I was really excited. So I wanted to make sure that I had saved some of my money for Abercrombie because I didn't want to just blow it all at KOP. Um, so I decided to not get anything at Madewell. Um, and then we decided to make the drive over to, um, the Christiana Mall in Delaware, which I think was like, I think with traffic, it was like 45-ish minutes. Um, Lauren was a trooper and driving over there for us. I really appreciated that because it's honestly probably been since like high school, since I was in Abercrombie. Like, I don't know if I was even in Abercrombie in college. Um, because the one that they had in the Lancaster mall, they t took out so many years ago. And then they used to have one at KOP, but they also took that one out. And I haven't even been to that one recently. So it's been a long time. And I, I knew that they were like making a comeback. Like I knew that they, like people have been posting like different hauls with Abercrombie. And I was like, oh my gosh, that looks so cute. I just want to go. So we drove over there pretty much just for Abercrombie. And I thought it was worth it because I got some goodies and I'm really excited. But I really wanted to try their jeans, um, which is another reason why I decided not to try on any Madewell jeans. Because I knew that I, like, I had a good feeling about Abercrombie. So I wanted to hold off. Um, and I got three things from Abercrombie. Two that I am wearing. One is this uh, quarter zip, I don't know, sweater. Um, it's so soft and like cozy. It has like a collar here, which I didn't think I would like. But I actually think it's really cute and I like it. I like the quarter zip um, and the sleeves are like right here at like your arms and your wrists are like thicker and I just, I, f I like it. Like I feels a little heavier than just a regular, like the material here and I really like it. So super soft, very much enjoy. Um, I, I'm glad that I picked this up. And then ugh, the jeans I'm wearing, I'll just show you in my like mirror shot here. But these jeans, I finally got a pair of Abercrombie jeans in the last, you know, five to 10 years. <laughs> and I love these jeans. I wanted to go for, I have a lot of skinny jeans and I wanted to start to like stretch out and like go out of my comfort zone for the jeans. Um, the tag ripped off. Um, when I was trying them on to see what the label was. Let me see what I what they are. So they are the Women's Curve Love High Rise Skinny Jeans. Um, and I got the light ripped wash. So they have like one rip, like one big hole at the knee and then just a couple other like distressings on the left leg. I am I'm like in love with these jeans, honestly. I am so happy that I picked these up. I went back and forth so long between this and like the mom style. Um, I tried on one of their mom style ones and it had like two big holes at the knees and I really liked that one too. I actually like went back and forth so many times between that pair and this pair and then I ended up with this and I'm glad that I made this decision because like again when I tried it on today to wear them I was like yes this was the best 
best decision that I could have made to 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 get these. So I really like them. Um, I'm really really short, and I really appreciate that Abercrombie does the like regular short long for jeans. Um, I feel like I miss that. Like I don't really have other places that still do that for jeans so i really appreciate that because i feel like they're actually not super long on me i did like roll these up for style and i really like just the look of that um but yes very happy with that i am honestly controlling myself right now to not buy a second pair online because i really just want another pair <laughs> but it's fine i'm gonna wait um and maybe i'll get another pair like later this year or something i feel like we don't have that many more months until we'll be wearing shorts again so i think i can hold off and then the last thing I got from Abercrombie, again, this like neutral-ish white cream color shirt. I just love it so much. But this is like a waffle kind of shirt and it's cropped and it has these like really cute buttons up here. Um, I will say that both this top that I'm wearing and this one was on like the last chance section at the store. So um, I don't know if they're available online anymore um, or if like just select stores have them left but um they also had a gray in this and i tried that on but i just i really liked this color and i was just trying to be smart and selective with what i got um i really like this i feel like it's super cute and just comfy i feel like it's the same level of like comfy as this but like in short sleeve which will be really nice because sometimes i just want to put on like a short sleeve shirt but still be cozy and i feel like that is what this gives me um i really like the cropped of it um again it doesn't really show my stomach when i'm wearing high-waisted jeans and that's the style that i like i like wearing it cropped but with high-waisted so i feel like it's it doesn't show anything but it's just its own like style itself so very much like that so that is my haul i really wish that lauren could be here but it was way too late when we got in last night and i knew that i was not going to take the time to record because we were already like so tired so um but I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know if you like these hauls. Um, I do try to um, balance my shopping out a little bit. So I did go heavy on it yesterday, so I probably won't be shopping again for a while. But when I do shop again for another book haul or clothing haul or decor haul, let me know if you do like these because when it happens, I can definitely try to do a haul with it because it's fun and I do enjoy these. So. Please like and subscribe for more. I hope that you're enjoying your February and I'll see you next time.